Hello guys, this is Ashwini Parekh. So today I'm going to share with you how to make this wave effect in Illustrator through script. I understand most of, most of my fellow designers will say we can do this with Blend tool, right? But trust me, uh, with Blend tool and with this uh, type of effect, you will need a very precise, accurate timing and uh, choosing of your anchor points to get this type of effect from it. So there's some cracks because Photoshop, Photoshop and Illustrator are the, uh, are the most important thing in this scripting. So uh, I'm going to tell you how to make it in an easy manner. It also depends on your render engine. I mean, your GPU, what kind of GPU your system is having. Uh, it completely depends on, on that. So without any further delay, let's start this tutorial. I will go to Photoshop and we'll have a document with the size of 1920 cross 1080. Okay. I have choose this document size because um, I have chosen the same document size in Illustrator. So both the document size should, should be same uh, to give the same effect what you want. Okay. So let's start. So here I will write view. Let's increase its font size. All right. Center. Okay. Um, if I use the same effect from this same text size, um, text edges, it will give you a sharp look. So for uh, for, for that, I will use a blur, blur gr Gaussian blur. So before that, uh, I will make it a smart object. Okay, now go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, choose radius around 15. Yeah, this is good. All right, now crop the unnecessary white space. I'm uh, cropping this because there is a reason. I will tell you further. It. Now go to file script, but before that, do save this document because there may be a chance that uh, your system can be hanged. So, yep, here. Yeah. So now file script, go to line dish dot image processor. So now it will ask for X steps and Y steps. So make X steps to 8 and Y steps to be 10. Let it be 10. So there's some warning which popped up. So after clicking OK, you, uh, you will see the process status. Don't click uh, anywhere, uh, anywhere, it will hide. So there's important tip. Photoshop could be, uh, Photoshop could crash. I recommend you to save the project first. Okay then hit ok now here you will see that each pixel has been uh, is going to be rendered that's why i cropped those uh, it will uh, decrease the uh, amount of rendering time and it also decrease the amount of pressure it's giving to my rendering engine so let's just wait for it so you can perform any other task in the background because if you if you just do any clicking inside this window it will automatically uh, hang your system uh, if you minimize this window also you can maximize it uh, quickly so i will recommend you to leave it like that only 
and it's taking time so how uh, we'll uh, make it fast forward Now, as you can see, this is done. Uh -huh. So here's a dialog box open. Open Illustrator document. Run line distort script there. Okay. So now we will go to Illustrator. Save this picture. Go down. As you can see, I have have used the same width and height of the same document. Now go to Files, Script, Line Distort. The uh, dialog box will open, which will ask you what will the height you want for each and every lines, and what angle do you want it to so that do you want it to be blended out. So I will go for 1.6 and the angle about 90. Hit OK. So, um, so this means if uh, uh, this will open a simplify window uh, for to turning uh, or much contra uh, much anchor point into one list, a single anchor point. If you have Illustrator uh, uh, 2019, 2018, or 2017 CC version, uh, this will uh, this pop up will not arise. But if you have uh, latest software software, this will arise. And this will automatically apply your uh, simplify filter in your document. Here you can go for uh, uh, angle threshold to be one. Smoothness we want more smoothness. That's why I have chosen one. And yeah. simplify curve. This is okay. This is okay. And hit okay. Now you can see I'm bringing in artboard. Yep, the texture is here. The same effect has been done within within few clicks, in just few clicks. increase the background if you want this to be uh, spread out in whole document then ungroup it select this uh, increase it by one space now control duplicate Mm -hmm. 
you can do one more thing you can align it with with your art space artboard artboard choose the center point select it zoom it It's always a little bit tricky part. You need some space, same space. Yeah, now it's looking good. So same thing you do for for low low panel. ready you can also choose the back uh, change the background if you want or you can uh, play with different uh, angle with. Um, so here I use 90 degree angle you can play with 140 degree 130 degree and I do, you can experiment it whatever in however you want so create marvels create some magic bye bye this is Ashwin Parikh do like do share do comment do subscribe and tell me how do you like this uh, script and this tutorial uh, you can ask me for this script also if you don't find it uh, if you don't know how to find it you can you can just comment it and i will get it for you thank you so much bye, -bye.